Today we're going to be painting a mountain landscape. I'm going to be using a small palette knife and a large palette knife. Mix some of the phthalo blue, crimson, and black together. It should look like a very dark purple, almost black. Try to put a sliver of paint on the edge of your palette knife. Visualize where your mountain is going to be. Make some big decisions of where you want to place it. Paint the outline of your mountain. Mountains can have smooth edges or round edges, whatever you prefer in your world. Using a one inch brush, pull down the paint at the same angle as the mountain is going at. Blend the paint at the base of the mountain to create a mist effect. sliver of that color on your palette knife and lightly press against the canvas to create your highlights. For your shadow, mix some blue, red, and white. Add your shadows just like you did your highlights. Gently lay it down on your canvas. some of the shadow color to the edge of your landscape brush and gently tap it on the base of the mountain. Lightly blend in on the bottom to help with the mist sort of effect and try to blend it with the angles of the mountain. our colors for the trees that are way in the background. So mix some blue, black, red, and then just a touch of white. Dig out a small fan brush and we're going to use this to create our trees. We're going to be using quick up and down strokes using the edge of your fan brush. The details here aren't really that important because they're going to be way in the background. Now mix a very small amount of black into your current tree color. This is going to be the trees that are slightly closer so they need to be slightly darker. some black and green into your current mixture. And this color is going to be used for a little bit more detail. You're going to be painting basic tree shapes. And you want to use the edge of your fan brush to do this. So use the tip of your fan brush at the top of the tree, and then gradually press harder as you make your way down. Using 
using the same color, paint some downward strokes, and this is going to be the reflection in the water. Get out a filbert paintbrush, add a little water on it, and then pull down the paint that you just put on. This helps create a water effect. Smooth out some of those reflections, and that helps to create movement in the water. Mix green with your gray, add some blue, and black. We're going to use this color to add trees to the foreground. We're going to start adding highlights to those trees, so mix some green, blue, and white to your mixture. Remember where your light source is at, where the sun is at, and don't cover up all of the dark paint. You want it peeking out there in between your highlights. Now mix some yellow and white into that green mixture. This color is going to be the extra highlights on your trees where the sun directly hits, so be selective where they go. work on the water a little bit, put some of that mountain highlight color on the edge of your small palette knife. Use a light touch and work that knife back and forth on your canvas. This creates a water edge, waves, splashes, whatever you want it to be. finished. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and let me know what you think.